What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we have yet another 6 star legend concept video and in today's video I'm very happy to announce gear for Luffy. Now a lot of people have been messaging me about this series and this was probably the number one most requested unit that people actually wanted to see as a legend character. So in today's video that is exactly what we will be covering. Now before we get into today's video though make sure to go ahead and click the link in the description that will link you over to Boris Anime's channel and he's actually going to be doing a video talking about Gear 4 Luffy and how he could be implemented within One Piece Treasure Cruise. So if you want to know a little bit more information about Gear 4 Luffy and his integration within One Piece Treasure Cruise, make sure to go ahead and check out Boris Anime's YouTube channel as there will be a video really, really soon. But without further ado, guys, let's get straight into the video. So now I present to you guys Gear 4 Luffy. So this guy here, I've made him a strength powerhouse fighter type character. Now, Free Spirit Fighter would also make a lot of sense as well, but I feel as if that him being a, a powerhouse character made a little bit more sense in his Gear 4 state as he becomes a lot more stronger, a lot more tougher and durable. So I feel as if powerhouse was a slightly better fit than Free Spirit, but Free Spirit Fighter still does make a whole lot of sense considering literally every other Luffy or most other Luffy's in the game are Fighter and Free Spirit types. Now let's go ahead and overview the character real quick. So he does have four socket spots because obviously he's really easily to socket uh, and I didn't really think that having five socket spots made a lot of sense. Uh, that'd be a little bit too overpowered considering his abilities. But now let's go ahead and break down his statistics. So he has 4000 HP. 1,540 attack, negative 450 recovery, and 4 combo. I really wanted to stick with the theme of having 4, considering he is gear 4 Luffy, and having the HP of 4,000 is really, really strong. 1540 attack, I made it 1540 because I wanted him to be uh, slightly stronger than Legend Doflamingo because Gear 4 obviously beats like Doflamingo in Dressrosa. So I really wanted to make it so he was stronger than Doflamingo in that sense. And his recovery, I wanted it to sort of balance it out because his HP and attack are really, really strong. So I wanted to balance it out and give him negative recovery of negative 450. And his combo didn't really need much changing or alteration. So, you know, 4 combo made the most sense in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and break down the most important part of the Legend Concepts being the Captain Ability and the Special Ability. So on the bottom scrolling text you guys should be able to see the Captain Ability and what it states is boost attack of all characters by four times until the first hit is less than good or a miss. So what this means is every character no matter what is going to get four times attack. But if you don't hit a good, great, or perfect, then the rest of that turn, you are not going to be getting any attack boost for your character. Similar to Legend of Flamingo, where if you hit uh, anything less than a perfect, then the rest of your crew for the rest of that turn will not get any boost to your driven characters. So the way that that works is, yeah, you just have to hit a good, great, or a perfect. If you don't, if you hit less than good or you hit a miss, then the rest of your characters for that turn are not going to be getting four times attack or 16 times attack with a double gear for captain. Moving on from that, because of that is such a powerful captain ability, I had to balance it out a little bit. So one sort of balancing factor is that health cannot be recovered. So if you guys are uh, really familiar with the current raid boss that just came out in Japan, Raid Akainu, there is an ability in that that will disable you from healing. So no recovery orbs, no specials or captain abilities will be able to make you recover any HP. So I wanted this guy as a captain to make that sort of a permanent thing or a passive ability that that means that nothing can let you heal at all. So it's sort of a really balancing factor because you are getting so much attack. But with gear 4, it is very demanding on Luffy's body. So I wanted to make it so that you can't actually recover. And uh, it makes it a little bit harder to be more durable and stay, you know, alive in the fight. And then moving on from that, it will reduce the crew's current HP by 10% at the end of each turn. So again, because you can't recover and you're losing a lot of HP, it's going to be very, very hard for this guy to actually stay alive and take hits. But the thing is, this guy's dealing out so much damage that you're most likely going to be killing things before you can actually get hit anyways. Now let's go ahead and start breaking down the special ability. Now, I made it so that it maxes at 19 turns and I don't really know what it would start at, maybe 25 turns or something like that. What it does is it will deal random typeless damage to all enemies and change both captain's orbs into matching orbs and then for one turn, all regular attacks ignore defensive barriers and buffs. So on screen right now, you should be able to see a little bit of information briefing on that. So for the random typeless damage, I made it that it will be random between 40,000 and 400,000 damage that will just 
hit all enemies on the on the screen, which is actually really, really strong. Lots and lots of AoE damage. Then it will change both Captain's Orbs into matching. So it's sort of like a buffed version of Log Luffy. He does random typeless damage to all enemies and then will give himself a Strength Orb. But uh, with Gear 4 Luffy, it will hit all enemies with the typeless damage and then it will give both Captains a matching orb, which is really, really strong. Then, for one turn, all regular attacks will ignore defensive barriers and buffs, so this will only count for the actual attacks that you do while tapping. It does not count for special abilities or special damage or, uh, or the ship special or anything like that. Nothing will hit through the barriers except for the regular attacks. Now, what sort of barriers can this break through? All regular attacks after activating this special for one turn will break through, uh, you know, combo shields, perfect, good, and great shields, and any defensive buffs that the opponent may have. Like, they might have a buff that will make, uh, you know, specific, like, strength characters will do less damage. So, when this special is active, it ignores that, and it will just do regular damage. So, uh, it's really, really strong because, you know, Gear 4 Luffy with his powerful King Kong gun can break through a lot of people's defense that we've seen in the manga and the anime. So, I think that this is a perfect fit for a special ability. It breaks through the enemy's defense and still does lots and lots of damage. Plus, it does the random typeless damage and gives himself and the captain a matching orb. So, it, it's actually really, really awesome. I think this is a really, really strong special and makes a lot of sense for Gear 4 Luffy. So that is going to round up today's concept video. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.